So where and what is glass? Hello! For any who don't know me, my name is Kana, and I am one of the resident lore masters. And this is a video on some lore of Glaeus. Glaeus is a continent to the far east of Calcutesh. The continent's real-world influences are Chinese, Japanese, Korean, Thai, and Polynesian history. The map of Glaeus is in the shape of a dragon koi fish and was drawn by Seville. The divinity of Glaeus differs from that of Calcutesh, as not only are there Calcutesian deities there, because Calcutesian natives believe that they are, but so are yokai. Yokai are a vast array of spirits, and there are eight different types of categorized yokai, but there are truly thousands within folklore. Only the most important and powerful of yokai can become kami. Some yokai are mischievous or even deadly, but they are not inherently evil. The only way for a yokai to become corrupted is by the negative energy of mortals that spread to the yokai and turn them into akuma. There are some races that are exclusive to Glaeus. There are also humans and elves present, but they differ from those in Kalkatesh. The Hoask are yak people that are hardworking and self-sufficient. Many prefer the simpler things in life and live rather peacefully, but they are very tough and don't lose strength with age. They do not like to lie either, so they will either tell the truth or they will stay silent. The Gekoi are gecko people that are the common merchant race. They prefer to live in trees and travel by climbing and jumping. They are generally friendly and are not cannibals like lizard folk. Gekoi are actually rather androgynous, as both genders look alike. The Tairn are a race of bat people, more focused on scholastics. They value intelligence, knowledge, and learning. They do not really fly or flap their wings, but they spread out their arms to utilize the natural winds. The Yozai are a race of humans that have yokai blood, like Typhlings with demon blood and Acemars with angelic blood. They are not born with human arms, but their arms are instead made of elemental spiritual energy that represents the yokai. Within Glaeus, there are four subtypes of humans, varying based on where they are from on the continent, and they have real-world influences. Those from the north are influenced by Mongolians, those from the south are influenced by Thai, those from the east are influenced by Pale Twilight East Asia, and those from the west are influenced by Polynesian, Maori, and Hawaiian. So the way that the elves in Glaeus are different from those in Calcutesh are that those in Glaeus are infused directly with the natural energy of the world. There are three subtypes of elves in Glaeus. The Whitewood, the Greenwood, and the Reedwood. The Whitewood are survivalists and live in the northern part of Glaeus. The Greenwood are more commonly seen by other elves as being non-elves and are found all throughout, while the Reedwood are the smallest population of elves in Glaeus and are usually wanderers. There are four orders of fighters one can be in Glaeus, and each has their own code of Bushido. The north is where yokai infuse the samurai with magic. This is their version of an eldritch knight. The east revolves around poise and politeness, and their combat is very parry-based. The south uses the tatami plate and use tactics and ally help, while the west are your typical ronin. In Glaeus, there is a naturally occurring phenomenon called the mists. The mists used to be dangerous, but they were manageable. However, within the past 50 years, it's only gotten worse, as there are rumors that creatures walk within them. The mists originate frequently and sporadically near the Titan's eye, and it has stretched to the far west of Glaeus, where it actually is starting to cut off the western and eastern sides of Glaeus from one another. The weather in Glaeus is a series of consistent and powerful winds that Glaeans use as their method of travel by utilizing kites. There are various sizes of kites as they go from transporting one person to multiple people to entire structures such as taverns or inns. Each direction of Glaeus has their own set of clans and societies. The North has eight different clans. First is the Fire Clan. They consist of militaristic forgers and miners. Their yokai is the salamander, and their primary weapon is the glaive. Second is the water clan. 
they are one of the few clans with access to the Northern Sea. They consist of fishermen and sailors who view the water as sacred. Their yokai is the turtle, and their primary weapon is a three-part staff. Third is the Wind Clan. They consist of scholars and poets, and they also help maintain the Skyway signs, which are a very important infrastructure to Glaeus. They serve Kuhn, the bird made of wind, and their primary weapon is Tonfas. Fourth is the Wood Clan. They consist of hunters and guides who value nature. Their yokai is the fox, and their primary weapon is the longbow. Fifth is the Metal Clan. They are a southern section of the northern clans and are boatmen and celebrators of mercantilism. They serve the Golden Bear Yokai, and they primarily use great malls. Sixth is the Dark Clan. They are a matriarchy consisting of assassins and followers of ninjutsu. They serve the Spider Yokai, and they use the short sword Wakizashi. Seventh is the Light Clan. They consist of politicians and mediators for the other clans. This clan is secluded from the others as they value beauty and think the other clans don't follow this. The girls are powdered white and are uncannily beautiful, and the boys are androgynous and pretty. They serve the dove yokai and primarily use open hand weapons. And eighth is the blood clan, the smallest clan of the north. This clan consists of exiled light clan members who believed in the beauty of strength. They are battle-hungry warriors who use the blood of their defeated opponents to stain their skin. They serve the shark yokai, and they primarily use the nadachi and or greatsword. To the south of Glaeus are more xenophobic clans who negatively view the yokai and foreigners. These clans are more focused on politics. These clans are the Su, the Ieyasu, the Haka, the Sao, the Sheng, the Hao, the Hideyoshi, the Masamun, the Shi, and the Seiyong. The lore of these clans are still ongoing and being actively created. To the west of Blaise are the Flowing Lands, for there are many small bodies of water and rivers. Here, one can find Alexandria. This is the center of trade between Calcutesh and Glaeus, as it is a port city founded by the Archmage of Glaeus, Lord Azalon. He named it Alexandria in honor of his deceased, now revived, paladin friend Alexander. This is the only location in Glaeus where Calcutesians are allowed to colonize, and where the needs of everyone is satisfied. In comparison to the rest of Glaeus, this place is the most European fantasy-esque. The only time Calcutesians are able to travel to Glaeus is during the Festival of the Seven, for this is when the Leviathans in the Abyssal Ocean sleep, so people can cross safely. The east of Glaeus is the Eclipse. This place is under a constant eclipse and darkness, hence the name. This is a society ruled by a feudal lord by the name of Otami Kirozai, the Pale Emperor. He took over all the eastern clans of Glaeus and now rules over them all as one kingdom. The warriors of the Eclipse are well trained, for they were able to conquer the east for a reason. It seems the Eclipse wishes to expand, as there have been sightings of scouts in the west. And that was a lesson on some of the lore of the continent of Glaeus.